Just a heads up, this video will contain spoilers, but with that said, let's get into it. So I just saw Thor, Love and Thunder, and overall, I thought it was kind of a mess. I want to preface this video by stating how I am a huge fan of Thor Ragnarok. It's amongst my top five favorite MCU movies. It's also one of my dad's favorites. So going into this movie, I was excited, but also somewhat skeptical, given the quality of pretty much every single Phase 4 MCU project so far. You have to stop calling them terrorists. At the very least, I was hoping that it would capture some of the same energy and style of Ragnarok that came from Taika Waititi. And now that I've seen the movie, I can definitely say that it did do that, just not exactly in the way I was hoping. See, Ragnarok was infamous for having a ton of energy and jokes. And this movie definitely has that too, but I just don't think it handles it as well as Ragnarok did. Given that a lot of that movie was just a Thor and Hulk buddy adventure, the jokey tone felt a lot more natural. But in this movie, the silliness is cranked up tenfold. And not only in the joke department, there's also just a lot of really ridiculous stuff that happens. Now look, I'm all for a dumb, stupid, entertaining, turn your brain off movie every once in a while. And I'm aware that we're dealing with a movie about a viking and rock monster going on a space odyssey. But all the stuff with gore and Jane having cancer is treated really seriously within the plot. So when you mix that with Cork getting blown up and them needing to carry his face around, and a freaking love triangle between Thor and his two hammers, it's obviously gonna feel way more out of place. Especially when things like that are even beyond the point of silliness that we would have seen in Ragnarok. The love triangle and Korg's face were definitely the two things I disliked the most about the movie, given how tone-breaking they were. So yeah, the tone was absolutely all over the place, and it made the movie feel really messy at points. But how was the rest of it? Well, there was actually quite a lot here that I did like. I thought Gore was a pretty serviceable villain. I heard people saying that they thought that they didn't use him enough, but honestly, I thought we saw enough of him to the point where I was invested in his character. Without a doubt, my favorite aspect of the movie, though, was another thing that was in Ragnarok that I was hoping would return, and that was the colors. This is an absolutely beautiful movie. I love the bright color palettes of the alien worlds and them flying through space on the goat boat. Zeus's little god sanctuary place also looked really neat. And I loved the contrast of those places and the gore shadow realm. And I loved that they gave gore white robes so he would stand out amongst all the shadowy backgrounds. The first fight in the shadow realm between Thor's team and gore might have been my favorite part of the movie. It was a visual spectacle. It looked really great. One part of the movie I had some mixed thoughts on, though, was Jane. I really like her introduction and how they explain why she's worthy now. I was expecting her to feel kind of tacked on given how sudden her absence was in Ragnarok. She didn't dump me, you know. I dumped her. But the whole explanation with Thor wishing for the hammer to protect her was a pretty good reason for her to be worthy now. That being said, I wasn't too into her characterization. She starts out super confident and strong in this new role, but then once Thor enters the picture, she becomes oddly uncomfortable in her new role. It was a bizarre 180, and I think they really should have homed in on it if they wanted her to be like a rookie in training or confident in her new position. Another aspect of the movie that I heard getting crapped on a lot was the CGI. It was definitely god-awful at points, like Heimdall's son's floating head looked like some shit out of Goosebumps. But overall, it really wasn't as big of an issue of the movie as others were hyping it up to be. Other than that floating head and Korg's detached face, the CGI looked pretty alright. The emotional and character stuff I thought was handled pretty well. The whole theme of love being the ultimate thing that beings seek was alright. Again, I like the ending of Gore and how he had to choose the path that would lead to what was best for his daughter, the thing that he loves most. The whole thing of Thor being the only god to take her in after she died due to the other gods' ignorance was pretty cool. Definitely wasn't the note I was expecting them to end on, but they could maybe do some cool stuff with it. I don't know, at its core, I feel like this movie does generally capture the same energy that Ragnarok had, and I feel like the emotional stuff was solid. But overall, it was just really difficult for me to get into this movie because the silliness is just turned up to the extreme. Sean Chandler talked about this in his review of this movie, but it really almost feels like a parody of itself at certain points. And because of that, it was a little bit more difficult to take the emotional stuff as seriously. I do also quickly want to mention that, yeah, it does kind of suck that the Guardians are in this movie for, like, a collective minute. I had been told that they're not really in this movie that much, and that did make enough sense to me given that they have their own film series. But given that they made such a big point of having Thor team up with them at the end of Endgame, yeah, I really expected them to have a bigger role in this movie. At least return in the finale to help Thor out or something. As is, it's a little bit scummy that they marketed this movie like they were going to be on Thor's team the entire time. I'm putting together the greatest team ever. Audience. But putting that aside, I wasn't 
that bothered by the fact that they weren't in it too much. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie like a 6 out of 10. There are moments where the comedic and emotional beats hit, but overall, turning the silliness up this high really broke my suspension of disbelief. And it leads to the grand product just feeling very messy. Which is how I would describe this movie. It's just messy. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what y'all thought of the movie in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go finish Stranger Things Season 4, and I'll see you next time.